Shalom, 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 everyone. <laughs> How y'all doing? What's up to my real fam? Uh, I want to say what's up to everybody. Um, I took a couple days off for personal reasons. Right now, we did the energy being thick. And I'm just going to say I am a light worker. I am a star seed. I, I wear a lot of different hats. Plus, I'm a twin flame. So, I have a lot of, like, spiritual work to do. Most people that are quote-unquote woke, we kind of may suffer from anxiety and things more than other people. Um, so, if you are a person who is prone to any kind of anxiety, depression, and anything of the sort... You may want to check into your life being a little bit spiritual, okay? You might be spiritually called to do some of the things that you see other people doing um, in the in the in the world right now, okay? Might be calling, might spirit might be calling you to help the universe. So pay attention, y'all, okay? All right, so I'm here to do a reading, y'all, and see what it is that Aries needs to know. At this time, in space, in this place, okay? <laughs> We're going to see what it is that Spirit want us to know as we live and we grow through this life, okay? So that's exactly what's going on, y'all. Good grades. So if you have to rest, rest. Um, if you drink, make sure you're drinking your water. Talking to myself, too. Taking care of yourself, listening to your body. All right, fam? All right. Spirit, what is it that you have to have or tell <laughs> the beautiful sign of Aries today? I hope everybody's doing well. Y'all know what I be saying. Do some comment, okay? Like the video. Okay? We got perfect timing. So what is the timing perfect for, Spirit? The timing is perfect for something, y'all. Look. Forgiveness. The timing is perfect for some forgiveness. Forgiveness. That's what Spirit says. Perfect timing for some forgiveness. Let's get one more card and then we're going to play out those, y'all, okay? These are the angel answers. And they are here to give you answers from the angels and from the cosmos, okay? If it's just me, y'all, but I be cold all the time. I'm cold like that because of my heart most of the time. But, you know, my heart don't pump no Kool-Aid. So I still be warm. But at certain points, I be freezing. And it's 80 some degrees today, and I'm sniffing like I got a cold. Like I said, y'all, it's these upgrades. It's the energy. Communicate clearly. It's the next card out. I'm going to start running my mouth now. <laughs> and start running my mouth about the right thing. Peaceful resolution is on the bottom of the deck, Aries. So off the hopper, off the topper, I am seeing that spirit is wanting somebody to forgive somebody. Okay? And when you forgive them, you don't have to communicate this clearly to them but you need to communicate it clearly to yourself and to the universe and to god let them know that you have forgiven this person um this person may have hurt you may have wronged you aries at some point in your life but it's time to let that go that's what i'm definitely feeling from these cards okay but we're gonna see what the tarot got to say wasting no time we have the five of swords okay five is the number change y'all so this is definitely, like I said, about some kind of forgiveness, okay? Um, I'm also hearing spirits say, for whoever this resonates with and whoever this hits, 
um, straight in the heart, okay? This forgiveness is for you. It's not for them. It's for you, fam. What else we got? You know, the Five of Swords is like a win at all cost. It's also like some, it's, it's conflict as well. So, um, but I'm definitely feeling this win at all cost kind of thing because it's like, you hurt me and I'm just going to continue to hold this grudge against you. The thing is, the saying is like, if you, um, unforgiveness is like you drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. You're not, you're killing yourself with the unforgiveness, okay? We got the Eight of Pentacles that came out next. And we got the Four of Wands. So, the Four of Wands can often be 11-11 card. It's considered a portal. So, like I said, it's perfect timing for you to work on this, Aries, okay? Um, this is actually putting the work in the healing work to be able to forgive this person. Um, unforgiveness can block so much from us. Like our health, it can block um, like money, it can block certain situations from you know going forth further in your life. Some you may be working on, it can even block your manifestation. Now. So, I don't know who this is for. I'm not gonna say this is for a large amount of people because I'm not feeling it. I feel like this is for a select few, okay. There is a few Aries out there, or maybe just a particular one, I don't know, that needs to really forgive a person who has done something to you. This is the only way you're going to be able to move on, okay? Okay, we got the King of Wands. All right. Boy. If you look at this King of Wands, look how his fist balled up. And this is a fire energy, okay? The King of Wands is fire energy. Okay, it could be Leo. Leo energy. Y'all may have been dealing with a Leo. I don't know. Leo is the fixed sign of um, the fire sign. So they can be very fixed. Um, they, they can be, you know, a handful sometimes. Because of the fixed energy that they hold. But I'm hearing it like you, you, <laughs> Aries, for whichever one of y'all, this is for you. Hate this person with a passion. When I say hate, yeah, this person may have done quite a bit to you. This was a, a higher up mother, father, grandfather, um, a aunt, a uncle. It may be an older cousin, but it's somebody that's like maybe older than you that put this stuff off on you that with the higher part being on the bottom of the deck. And you got the seven of cups, okay? Um it's almost like you have found you have been you have found like every way in which not to forgive this person, okay? You have looked at everything they have done, like each of these cups holds a situation what they have done to you and so for some of y'all they was relentless i'm not gonna even lie they was relentless in their actions towards you so you have found every reason in the physical world to not forgive this person but you pretty much the hangman you pretty much hanging yourself aries by not forgiving this person you, you know, like I said, you can't drink the poison and expect them to die. You're going to die. Okay? And this is like a restriction. You are It's restricting your blessings, like I said. Restricting a lot of things in your life because you have not forgiven this person. So this reading today, Aries, is a message. This ain't, you know, this is a specific for someone. Um, It's a message. We got the star. So, some of your um, wishes have not been granted. I'm also getting that some of you, this person, did some of these things to you because they see what your real true gift and your talent and who you really are. They see the star and they see the light within you. So, this is why they did. They have been 
aggravate you or aggravated you or did something to you in childhood, you know, um, it could be that. You might even have to um, have a conversation with this person for closure. But communicate your feelings clearly. Even if your voice shake, let them know exactly what it is that you need them to know. Because I'm really feeling like this person hurt you, Aries. Okay? And this person hurt you, like I said, with no remorse. But they can they cannot have remorse. By you forgiving them, the universe and God will fight your battles. Okay, y'all? That's a true thing. The Bible said, don't touch my anointed. Okay? And most of the time when you get done wrong by somebody that's a higher up in the family, you call a black sheep, all that kind of stuff, um, God will, will, will be vengeful for you, okay? You don't have to worry about that. Page of Wands. Like I said, there definitely may be a chance to talk to this person, Aries. Um, maybe some counseling that's needed. I'm definitely feeling like this may be a parent, y'all. Okay? And it may be a mother, maybe a father, but I'm feeling like this is a parent. Some of you may have suffered some kind of abuse at the hands of your parents when you were younger. We got the moon. So, whew. Not a lot of people know about this, okay? This burden that you have been carrying on your back, Aries, in your heart and in your spirit, like I really feel it right now. Um, nobody really knows about it, okay? It's hidden. It's, it's, it's just been a lot for you to carry. And, you know, I'm just going to say this. Because for some of you, it's, 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 it's just how the how spirit get it to me. Some of you were sexually ab abused by a parent or someone, an older person in your family. Maybe even an older person in your church. Um, but this is definitely about someone. Take it as it resonates. As I always say, if it don't apply, let it fly. But I'm picking this angel up that someone was sexually abused as a child, okay? Molested, um, touched inappropriately. Um, I'm hearing inappropriate acts. This may go very, very deep. This may be deeper than just surface level. Like some people say, I was touched. No, this goes deep. Like this actually feels like almost... Um, rape kind of energy, okay? Um, that's why spirit is saying, like, going to counseling and actually confessing to this person what they did, because it's going to free you, okay? It's going to free your spirit and your soul for whoever, um, whatever areas this is for, okay? This has been a very big burden on you. This has, you You may have even considered suicide at one point, um, or maybe several times in your life. I'm picking that energy up. Yeah, this is an opportunity, the, the Ace of Pentacles. In this current energy we have, going into the new earth energy, okay? Spirit and God is giving a lot of people opportunity to clear out old energy, old baggage, Things that have been holding them back. So this has been holding you back. This person thought that they got away with whatever it is that they did to you. But um it, they they're gonna they're about to be exposed, okay? The moon being here also tells me they're about to be exposed with you addressing the issue. Like this is gonna be straight for you. And then God will handle the rest, y'all. Have faith in it. Because your wish is about to be fulfilled for this burden to be lifted from you. A lot of y'all been carrying this shit all y'all life. Uh, y'all been carrying it for a long time. I'm hearing like over 10 years you've been carrying this burden or carrying this issue with you. For whatever areas this is for, okay? Take it as it resonates. But there's definitely... um. Uh, uh, some mental anguish here. 
and that mental anguish has spilled over into physical anguish, okay? <clears throat> I'm just stunned the cards for a minute, y'all, to see whatever else spirit um, lets me know. But this is some, some heavy energy, okay? Action is about to be taken. This is spirit letting you know it's time to take that action. It's the perfect time for you to take this action and clear this out of your um your energetic field, Aries. Because careness around with you has definitely been a burden. Um, you may have even felt at one point. I'm just gonna say it. Y'all know how I do. Like this motherfucker think they got away with doing this to me. They think they got away with doing this to me. They 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 stole my childhood. They stole my innocence. And I'm and I've never been able to look back. They they with the you know. Some of y'all something may have happened where this person did this and you wound up being in a. A, a orphanage or getting adopted or something like that. Some of that may have happened. It turns your heart cold with the Queen of um, Cups in reverse. I don't read reverses, but I'm definitely feeling like this. This is the, the energy of like having no compassion and being very, very uh, closed off to the situation. And that is the, um, that's unforgiveness energy, okay? Um... This can be male or female that this happened to, okay? Um, but yeah, Aries, this this is pretty serious, okay? I don't really get um, reads like this for us often. Like I said, this is a very specific one. This could be for multiple people, but I'm definitely feeling like it's a specific for someone. To help you get out of this energy, okay? This is spirit way of using me to help you get out of this energy, Aries. I'm relaying this message to you. Because the thing is, you know who you are. Because you watching this reading, you were drawn to it. And um, you know your situation. You know your situation, and if this is resonating with you, if even just a little bit, you know, take what 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 applies and lead a rest, but you know exactly who I'm talking to. Okay? See what other information we can get here. All right, spirit. On time, wellness, what else do you have to add to this? What advice would you have? Okay, we got Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or me. And hesitation. Okay, so. The key word that sticks out to me right here is um, hesitation. Like I said, um, it's something that you have been, like, not addressing. But also, there's me on here as well. So, like I said, this is a situation that's coming up for maybe you and this person to go to counseling or maybe you to go to counseling to help yourself get through this situation. So, meeting with a counselor or someone who understands you, that's also why I think the higher front um, was coming up as well because the higher front can be like a minister, a counselor, or somebody who is um, a mentor or something like that. Um, we got heartbroken, Okay. Deeply hurt, sad, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. I said it's been a burden, y'all. This is exactly what it is. For for one of you out here watching this, okay? I feel this energy. Even if the person don't watch this video, I feel the energy. You hurt, like, crying. Like, if you, you might go to work and live your life daily. But when you go home... Behind closed doors, you sad as fuck because this has been so heavy on your spirit. Right now, it's heavy on your spirit because it is spirit's way of bringing it to the surface 
so you can um, expose it so it can be revealed and it can be cleared okay you're not meant to continue living your life like this Aries it feels like it's almost prisoner type energy like this thing has you held captive and you probably like I said nobody knew you hadn't been able to tell too many people about it we got the camera okay it says reminiscing learn from the past so the camera also can be equated to like i said um um make it says make memory so this this is a memory of something that's in the it ain't in the back of your mind it's in the front of your mind like you, it was in the back of your mind for a little while and some of y'all may have even got counseling for it before but it's starting to resurface and I think it's resurfacing for some of you so it can be cleared finally. You won't be able to ever forget it 100%. But I think Spirit got something in store for you with this star being here. Something good for you going through this situation, okay? Yes, we got the lightning. So this says sudden change, epiphany, surprise, transformation. All that. So, you know, would you forgive this person and decide to confront the situation? Um, you are going to change the energy to work in your favor, basically. Okay? Um, it's going to change your life for the better. I'm really feeling it, Aries. All right. Alright, so like I said, this energy is kind of heavy, okay? But I do feel like victory at the end of all this. I really do. Okay, coffee cup. It says meeting, conversing, savoring the moment. Okay, so like I said, you may have to confront this person. You may be having a sit down with them, maybe at a coffee shop, maybe going to get something to eat. Let this person know that you stole my innocence and you hurt me. Maybe you all were thinking about doing this before, and this is just your confirmation that you're doing the right thing because you did, you want to clear this shit out of your life, okay? On the bottom of the deck, we got healing heart. So some of you are working on healing yourself from this situation, okay? And like I said, this is specific. I believe it's, it's not for... A lot of people, but for, you know, a choice few, okay? All right, let's see. That was two. Oh, way too many. All right, Spirit. What do we have here? What do we have? Yeah, these rings ought to help people along their path right now. I do my rings for free, y'all. I don't charge much for personal rings. And actually, I haven't been doing too many personal rings. Because I've been, like, protecting my energy as well. I got things I'm healing from and things I'm doing. You know, this is only one of the things that I am doing to help the universe along. Okay? But it's my pleasure to be able to do these readings to help people because it's important to have spiritual guidance y'all take the good points of tarot and use that to benefit you in your life okay and what i mean by the good points is it's like you can overdo it with anything so take what you need like let's say you watch four or five readings and you get a lot of coinciding energy or information if you know all that adds up, take the time out for what you learn from those readings and start working on yourself. Do some things that will help better yourself and apply the information that you found out. Don't just keep going from reading and reading and reading, okay? Because that's not going to help you. I'm just being honest with y'all. Like, I could tell you to, like, sit on my channel and watch all my videos all day, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to do that. I'm telling you, take the time out to learn some of the things that you are and apply some of the things that you're hearing in these reads. And don't just keep on listening and reading back to back to back to back. That shit is going to confuse you. 
because it's way too many readers. If you got a specific one, stick with it. You ain't going to have a message every single time. That's another thing. And stop listening to that, folks. Another thing people do with readings is, I already know because I feel y'all injured and I know the shit anyway. Stop going to different readers until you hear what the fuck you want to hear. And then you satisfy. When you hear somebody give you a warning or something, take heed of that. If it's me or anybody else, take heed to it. And work on yourself. And stop running from yourself. Because all they're going to do is cause more problems in your life. Just people telling you what you want to hear don't mean they love you. And I'm just being honest. Okay? Because I do love you. Okay? All right. We got the mirror. Okay, so it says mirroring each other's self-image. Your relationship is reflecting your wounds and introspection. So, like I said, you've been thinking about this. And one of the reasons why you may be thinking about confronting this person about what happened to you is because of the situations that it has been causing in relationships in your life. Like you, like childhood wounds. If you having issues in a relationship right now that are, you know, just seem like they not they cannot be worked out. Believe me, you're probably dealing with your own childhood wounds surfacing in a relationship. I know what I'm talking about, y'all, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna, I'm not going to make you try to understand that because you got free will. You do what you want. But like I said, I'm here to help. And I take my help seriously. And I don't talk about shit I don't know, okay? Nothing I ain't been through. None of that. Okay, so we have on the bottom of the deck, the snake. All right. Um, it says competition, enemy, clever, malicious. That's how you feel this person was with you. They, they, you know, they made you into making them into an enemy. Okay. Um, their actions were malicious, of course. You felt like they were snake in the damn grass. And you should feel like that, you know what I'm saying? But now it's time to, on the bottom of the deck, we got peaceful resolution. It's time for you to have some, some peace over this, Aries. It's time to let this go and for you to have some peace over this. And once you do that, look at this. We got abundance and improving health. Your health gonna get better. Your money gonna get better. Your life gonna get better. All because you was brave enough and had the courage enough to face this situation and say it's not holding you captive no more. Okay? And I applaud you and I encourage you. You know? Because we all need that sometimes. And this is not a hard thing. It's not an easy thing to do. It's very hard. I'm not finna sit up here and be like, oh, it's just easy. No, it's not. Sometimes you want to slash the motherfucker throat. You don't want to do it. <laughs> You don't want to just forgive them and move on. But like I said, Spirit said this forgiveness is for you. That way you will get your peace. That way you will get your abundance. That way you will get your health to improve. Your mental health, your physical health, your financial health. health. Everything will improve. That peace going to be so priceless. I'm feeling the sun energy at the end, okay? At the end of it all, I'm feeling the sun. Like, the sun will definitely shine. And when we feeling the sun and the stars and the moon being here, that means you're going to put yourself into perfect alignment, Aries, for your blessings to just drop in your lap. You know? It just is what it is, y'all. And like I said, my heart goes out to the person that this has happened to because the energy is heavy. Um... But I also encourage you, and I want to say that you have done a good job so far carrying this, but it's time to let this load go, okay? Spirit is giving you that opportunity to go ahead and expose it. This person didn't get away with it. The only way they get away with it is if you don't address it, okay? If you don't address the situation and keep, you know, letting it affect you, Sometimes we let things kill us and the person will still be walking around. The person that hurt us 
or be walking around just as healthy, and we the ones that dying. That's because you done drunk the damn poison. And they doing just fine. Okay, y'all. So, Aries, my Ram fam, I thank y'all for watching. Y'all comment. Um, as I said, for anybody that this applies to, and this has been pretty heavy for you, um, you can email me at charmedbyshantia at gmail.com if you need somebody to talk to, if you need some kind of guidance, okay? Um, because like I said, I'm feeling this energy kind of heavy. I would do what I can. But one of the main things that I would do is steer you in the right direction. Okay? You have to take that walk and that journey on your own. Alright? Alright, Aries. I appreciate y'all watching. I love all of y'all. Y'all comment, holla at a sister. Tell me, hey, tell me, bye, say, hey, dog, cat, whatever you want to say. <laughs> and I'll see y'all on the next video. Talk to y'all later.